Hello, Jason here from septictank.co.uk. In today's video, I'm going to talk to you about septic tank emptying. I'm going to show you why you need to get your septic tank empty, and I'm going to show you how you can save lots of money and not get your septic tank emptied. So let's get straight into this. So this, believe it or not, is a septic tank. And um, once the wastewater leaves the house, it comes down the inlet pipe, and then it will fill up the septic tank to the point where the water will then make its way through and down the outlet pipe. So that's typically the level of the wastewater in every septic tank. <clears throat> and for people who don't often look in their septic tank, when they lift the lid and they see the water quite high, as in, you know, three quarters of the way you know, up the tank, they get worried and it's like, oh my goodness, the septic tank's full, I've got to get emptied. But it's not true. Septic tanks are always kind of three quarters full. So don't let the height of the wastewater in the septic tank, you know, trigger the response of you having to go out and get your septic tank emptied. All right, so let me show you why you need to get your septic tank emptied every year. Building regs states that you need to um, maintain your septic tank if you've got one and get it emptied as I said once a year and this is why in wastewater it's not just I know we've depicted it as blue here but wastewater is sewage effluent right and it's got lots of horrible nasty floaty things in called suspended solids and other bits and bobs so you've got poo and you've got wee and you've got hair and you've got vegetable peelings and skin and all kinds of bits and bobs in there and over time this stuff falls to the bottom of the septic tank and builds up this is called the fat grease and the sludge or, or, or solids if you want to call it that okay so this debris comes into the tank and it floats around on top of the water there like so it'd normally be um, a tea piece which I've forgotten to draw on here which would stop um, all these floaty parts going out into the soak away. And over time, these these particles, this debris, right, slowly make their way down and sink to the bottom of the septic tank. And over the course of the year, this debris builds up like so. And that is the main reason as to why you get your septic tank emptied. So once a year, you'd get the tanker man in, he'd take the lid off, he'd put the hose into the tank, and he would suck out all the sludge. But many septic tank empty, emptying people <clears throat> um, don't like sucking sludge out of septic tanks. Why do I say that? Well... It's very easy to suck the water out, suck it out in 5, 10, 15 minutes, no problem. But if you haven't had your septic tank emptied or desludged for, say, I don't know, two, three, four, five, maybe even 10 years, it becomes like tar, I suppose, or treacle. And it's very, very difficult to suck it out. So they put their pipe in and they've got to get stick, a big pole in there, like a big stick, a big pole, and they've got to jet it and try and soften up and loosen all that sludge so when you get your septic tank emptied make sure that his pipe is right on the bottom of your tank and not suspended just above the solids there because um, it has been known that many septic tank uh, emptying firms um, knowingly or unknowingly just suck the water out so that's a free tip for you all right so that's why you get your tank sucked out so how much does it cost to get a, a tank septic tank sucked out well typically uh, where I live, it costs about £200 a time. In other places, it can cost up to £350 a time. Now, as I said, you should get your tank emptied once a year. Now, if the why would you get your t tank emptied more frequently than that? Well, it's normally because if problems develop. So, for example, sometimes, right, well, 50% of the time, the tea pieces break off. All right, the septic tank. And what this does, this allows the floating bits to block up the soak away, whether it's near the tank or uh, further along towards the soak away. But the point is, what happens then? The water in the tank can't soak away. 
and so the level of the water will then rise to the top of the tank and it will spill out and overflow through the top of the tank and when this is full up with uh, water, wastewater and can't soak away you then got a problem because you can't flush the loos anymore, you can't use the washing machine, you can't empty the bath, it just won't drain away. And so <clears throat> in that instance, you might have to get your septic tank emptied once a week, which can cost a lot of money, to be honest. You imagine you're paying out two, three hundred quid a week. This is how I got into the septic tank business. I used to live in a, a, in a terraced, Victorian terraced cottage, and my septic tank was on the neighbor, in the neighbour's garden. And um, she had a problem with it. And we had to pay £90 a week. That was my what it cost me, my part share, to get this thing emptied. And it just did my head in. I mean, I'd never had a place with a septic tank before. Here I was, I just got married, I got two kids, and I'm paying out 90 quid a week, uh, which is, what, 360 quid a month, you know? And it just blew my mind. And it, this went on for a year or two, and it just made me ill. Eventually, um, I did quite a bit of research and put my own septic tank in, which cut me off from her system, saved me spending 90 quid a week out, and that's how I got into the septic tank business. So there you go, there's a real life experience of the trouble a blocked or problematic septic tank can have. All right, now I also said I'm going to show you, didn't I, um, how to save money on septic tank emptying, because whether you're paying um, 90 pounds uh, a week or a month or two, 350 quid a year, it's still a lot of money. And so this is a tip that uh, that will save you a lot of money. And it has saved people a lot of money. All right, so let's just go back to this and put this tank back to normal. So there's a normal flow of water floating away. All right, so let's say you haven't had your tank emptied for a while or you only get it done one or every two years or you've got an old septic tank and you're fearful that the t-piece has broken off or you just want to prevent problems an amazing um, uh, product on the market at the moment is something called if i write it here look soak away worms now, septic tank soak away worms basically are organic red worms. There's about 150 species of worms in this country, and um, this is one of them. And you, you get a bucket, you take the lid off, you tip the bucket, and the worms will fall into the water initially. Some will float, the others will make their way down onto the fat, grease, and the sludge. Now, it's a fallacy that um, worms drown in water. They will if the water has no oxygen present, but because there's an in and there's an out in the septic tank, it's constantly renewed every day, every other day with fresh water that's come from your bath or your sink or your dishwashers, whatever. And so in oxygenated wa water, the worms thrive. But the point is, these worms will go into your septic tank. And what they do is, right, these are organic, these organic, if I put organic there, these organic red soak away worms will eat all the fat the grease and the sludge it's absolutely nuts and so over the course of a few weeks they eat all the sludge and then the worms will live on the bottom of the tank so all this um, debris that comes in this fat the grease and the sludge the worms will latch onto it and and they eat it and so you know what better thing could you, it's, it, or these worms almost turn, well, they do turn your septic tank into an organic composter. So, you know, worms eat everything, eat, even eat us when we're gone, you know, buried, they're, they're the cleaners of the earth. And these worms will also make their way into the soak away and they live there and eat all the fat and the grease and the sludge and all the suspended solids. So if you want to save yourself two, three, four hundred quid a year, you know, in septic tank emptying, then I seriously suggest you put in some organic red soak away worms. Um, they are about, I think they're about 149 quid uh, a bucket. With each bucket, you get a year's free worth of bacteria, which uh, protect, which you, you put a sachet down the loo every month, it dissolves, you flush it down the loo, it goes into the tank, and it protects your tank from the harmful effects of cleaning products. But there you go. Septic tank emptying. So that's why you get your septic tank emptied. 
I've explained how much it costs to you. Um, I've explained why you have to get your septic tank emptied more and more frequently. Um, and what the symptom is behind that is called a block soak away. And if you want to save money on getting your septic tank emptied uh, regularly all the time, then just put in a bucket of organic red soak away worms. So listen, thank you very much for watching this video today. If you'd like more free help and advice and free tips, then just go to septictank.co.uk or go on to Google and type in septic tank TV and you'll see my uh, TV channel there. Loads of free videos offering help and advice about a whole different matter of subjects related to septic tanks and drainage and stuff like that. But listen, thanks once again for watching this video. You take care and I'll speak to you soon. For more information, just click the link below this video or visit septictank.co.uk for free help and advice.